All right, well, Lululemon is a relative newcomer here. It has six stores in China and plans to open five more. And China is Lululemon's fourth largest market. But the company's CEO told me that he plans to change that by reaching out to more young Chinese. This is what he had to say. It's a millennial. It's a, it's a global citizen. It's it's an affluent rising middle class. I mean, you think about 415 million millennials in this country, and more and more of them wanting to li to live an active, mindful lifestyle. It's really, really important. The timing might be right because of the trends on the ground. Chinese are becoming more health conscious. And in the big cities like Beijing and Shanghai, more people are hitting the gyms and as well as doing sports. Since 2008, gym membership here has doubled to 6.6 .6 million. Yoga has also gained popularity, growing from 4 million practitioners in 2009 to 10 million today. So Lululemon CEO said that the company is building its brand awareness here by going online. We actually see really the, the brand awareness growing through our digital channels, right? So whether it's through our um, offline online events or whether it's through social media or through WeChat, we see sort of the energy and the brand awareness growing in those, con in those um, cities. And that's what really drives our presence. And one of the challenges is copyright infringement. But Lululemon CEO said that right now they're not worried it's not going to affect their growth plans. Carl? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.